Welcome to my laboratory again. I thought it would be nice to commemorate the 162nd anniversary of the discovery of the very first synthetic organic dye known as mauve. And it was originally made from aniline and uh, the oxidising it with uh, some potassium dichromate in sulfuric acid. And that's what I'm going to do today and see whether I can come up with producing the same lovely colour that William Henry Perkin produced at the tender age of 18. Now, I don't think I'm going to be just as lucky as him, because uh, I'm not going to make my millions out of this, as he was lucky enough to do. But he was in the discovery to try and discover uh, quinoline, uh, or quinine. Uh, he oxidised aniline with uh, some potassium dichromate uh, in sulfuric acid. And at the end of this video, I actually have uh, a copy of the original patent uh, and I've uh, recorded it in sections so that you can actually accurately reproduce this yourself if you so wish. Now I'm just going to add the uh, potassium dichromate in sulfuric acid to the aniline and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to give it a stir here as you can see and see if we produce this beautiful mauve or mauvine as it became known which was a beautiful purple dye but it doesn't look like anything too much exciting is happening and actually forming um, aniline sulfate and then it's being oxidized with the potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid in excess to produce uh, benzoquinone which is a horrible black substance so I'm going to try and see whether we can extract this uh, as uh, Perkin did uh, using some naphthalene, uh, or sorry, not naphthalene, naphtha. Uh, and uh, we're going to put some into some alcohol because that's how he accidentally discovered it. He left uh, the horrible black precipitate for about 12 hours and then came back to it to try and rinse out the flask with some alcohol and he produced uh, this beautiful uh, purple dye. Now, I don't think I'm producing too much purple dye here it at a push has a sheen of purple it could well be to do with chromate salts who knows so let's try and extract some of this uh, molding as you can see again there's not much happening in the little uh, separating funnel there uh, just to my left I've used some uh, naphtha to try and dissolve uh, the black gunk as it were out of it and see whether when we extract then the rest of it uh, you can see there I'm pointing I think in my imagination I'm producing some purple mauvine but I'm sure it's just some chromium sulfate or something like that So out of frustration, I'm going to try and follow uh, Perkins' actual uh, recipe for producing mauving. Uh, and he first produced uh, aniline sulfate by simply just adding some sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, to some aniline. And as you can see, my aniline's nice and dark in the same way that it would have been in Perkins' time, um, whenever it was uh, full of uh, impurities. And in fact, it's quite interesting to know that um, mauvine uh, is actually incorporates not just aniline uh, but paratoluene and orthotoluene and uh, within that there is a very little amount of a mauvine dye that actually is able to be produced. My uh, aniline may not be impure enough in fact it uh, maybe is too pure which is why I'm only going to get benzene quinone from the oxidation of this. So I'm using uh, a hot solution, uh, just about 75 degrees Celsius. And if you look at the end of this recording, I have for you recorded uh, William Perkins' uh, actual uh, patent. So you can look through it and uh, see what the best way to do uh, this experiment is. I still think that he possibly kept something secret because I'm not having too much success. So 
So I'm going to give it a stir and then we're going to leave it uh, for a number of hours and come back to it. Now, what do we have? We have a beautiful black tarry like substance which I'm just going to try and scrape off this little spatula onto some filter paper. And as you can see we're using uh, flasks and bottles which would have been around about the same time uh, as William Perkin and say this is the 162nd anniversary of the discovery of this uh, dye that made him so rich and famous. But as you can see I'm not going to become rich and famous it's just black gunk so I say you would like to maybe pause this and go through his uh, patent you'll be able to look for yourself how uh, William Perkin was able to produce uh, mauveine and the actual laboratory technique that he used and say so he had a lot more success than I had but it was good fun uh, trying it. So please do uh, like and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to get up to over a thousand subscribers, which would be lovely. And um, please ring the bell for my uh, other experiments, which I'm going to put up uh, quite soon for you. So thanks for watching, and please do come back again. Mm -hmm.